the 1950s, the era of the German economic miracle. Mercedes-Benz reacted to the growing demand and presented the L319, which had been consistently developed to meet distribution transport needs. 1969. Neil Armstrong was the first man on the moon. Daimler-Benz had recently presented the new L406 vans. In 1976, the Concorde became the first supersonic civilian passenger transport aircraft. Mercedes-Benz presented the new T1N series in the same year. A decade later, the MB100 series followed, with a payload of up to 1.8 metric tons. In 1995, the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter was launched and would soon become the synonym for an entire class of vehicles. 1997, David Coulthard achieved a sensational victory in the Australian Grand Prix in a McLaren Mercedes. The return of the Silver Arrow to Formula One. Just one year earlier, Mercedes-Benz presented the Vito, a van that bridges the gap to passenger vehicles. 2003 saw the development continue, with an increasing number of Vito variants. 2011, Germany decides to abandon atomic energy and focuses on renewable energy sources. The electrically powered Vito e-cell creates no emissions, doing without a conventional combustion engine. The beginning of a new chapter in the history of Mercedes-Benz vans.